Yo guys, it's me back. I set, I changed the delay, so we can finally set up to the TTGL match between Dragunov and Voidwalker. It's gonna be nice. Need to take with you. Which who of us concentrates on which player? Ah, what? We should both concentrate on one player? And then, if we make it like this, I will concentrate I mean, on Void, of course. I mean, with uh, preferring to watch with mm -hmm. We'll still, of course, watch but if uh, you don't know really who to watch with, you just return to your player. Yeah. You, as a, as to watch. Dragon is, is not online, Let so I just don't know if we'll play in this time, I guess. Well, he's sad, so he should be online. Isn't he also online in Discord? No, um, I wrote to him at Discord and he's not responding. Ah, he might, he might come online sooner or later. Well, I guess we're gonna wait a bit. Yep, we just wait a little bit. So, so map pipping cannot even happen. So it doesn't matter, we just wait and have a nice talk about everything, you know? While we also... I don't know, should we start? I think I'm not gonna start the game in between. We just wait 10 minutes if, if he doesn't show up, then we just play with the delay and then maybe he shows up later. That'd be nice. I think my, st my stream will reconnect, will be redirect in 80 seconds. It's kind of bullshit a bit that I have to stream with D-Day because it's kind of hard to handle the crowd, you know, when they talk. Like, we done already everything and they see you three minutes later. It's kind of hard to interact with them. The only so, thing well, is that you have chat. to do it in a tournament because else we're just gonna go Steam a uh, stream snipe. Oh. Dragonov just wrote to me that he's online. Oh, nice. Just on the spot. Too many players. And 90% yeah. of them will be out in one second. Yeah, no problem. As soon as you guys <laughs> have picked your map. By the way, you need to leak need to roots how to actually start the map picking. Yeah. Like I don't know. I, I think it starts first with the, like the guy map calls the bot that starts on the left side or whatever. There's an example in the map picking. Yeah, yeah, but you still need to know how that actually starts. Ah, yeah, yeah, Voidwalker is, I think, the first guy to be caught on the left side, if I'm correct. Is he? Ah, I need to go on that group A. Voidwalker is on the left side, yeah, so he starts the picking. Actually, should I stream also the picking? Yeah, actually, Dragunov is starting the picking as I wrote it. Or really? Really? No, nah, nah, then you can't do that. Should I? Then I could delete that, actually, no problem. Uh, how do you stop the bot, actually? Actually, is there, is there a possibility to stop the, to, to uh, tell the mob bot to shut up? Or does just Dragunov starts his map picking, I guess. Mm, but to be fair, map picking example, map call. It's not really written that the opponent has to be on the left to stop the map picking. To be honest, I don't mind. We are back. Yeah, hello guys. Yeah, yeah, we are back. Ah, oh, goddammit. Yes, of course they have the three minute delay. <laughs> uh, let's change the server as Dragunov cannot join. Oh, what? He cannot join? Yeah. So, I don't know. How can I like, go, on, go on official one and then... Switch. Yeah, I go official one then. Uh, official one? But the, now there's Master TD who gives a fuck, no, no. Official, of, go official too. It's probably down to the which ports are open. Ah, God damn it! I need to kick a lot of people then, later. It doesn't matter if oh, they come in or not. In. The problem is I need to kick a lot of people now because the server will die. I'm 100% sure. So, I don't know. People should just go for the stream. Sorry, GDF, I also have to... I, well, GDF can just leave on his own. I need to ban everyone because yeah, also the more people worry, are in, the I'll, more I'll people. Jump out. Yeah, people will start lagging. Also, the server out is a problem. Uh, Some is also will leave. Yeah, Borgomov will cast it with me, so Borgomov can stay, and my me, you guys can see it. 
So anyway, people should, by the way, know why we kick. Oh, and also, well, you should then leave the uh, Discord channel, of course. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah we will leave later. No, no, right starts. now it's okay. We will, we yeah. will leave. But right now it's still okay. We will leave as soon as it goes on. So I will actually have a look how they how they do the fixtures. Next time, maybe when I stream, I will also put in Discord so I can actually show people how you guys are. Actually, hmm, can't. Let's see if I can do that quick enough. Uh, is that a bit show off now? Nah, wasn't that? That's dumb. Good question. What is that actually? Is it meaning quella? Hmm. I will have a look if I can see it in Discord. Discord. Yes. Yes. You can actually... Can you see Discord now? Ah, of course. Okay. Okay, Discord does not work. I'll let you know in three minutes, Gannon. No, no, you guys, you guys can't see that. I can see it already. It doesn't work. Okay, so I, I, I choose something else. How about I use? Ah, I do not want to take this, but I guess I have to. Let's see. Does that work? Ah, no, I don't want to. I want do not want to use this. Can I? Can it be this? Oh yes, it could be this. Does it work? Oh, let's see. <laughs> People in the meantime only... Yes, that could work. Avocado is the first map. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yep. From that choice, I couldn't resist. The first map is Pirates and Emperors. Why is it still black though? I don't understand. I right. use my Discord. Pirates, Why doesn't Emperors, it work? and then Avocado. Okay. So yeah, Discord still doesn't work for some reason because Discord is an asshole, so we can't do this, guys. Maybe next time I get it settled down, then we get this with the, with the map picking, but not this time, sadly. Sorry, guys. So what is the first? So the first map Paris is... Paris and Emperor, then Avocado and Wastelands. Huh? Wait a, wait a second, isn't it game one is Pirates, second is Avocado, and third one is Ico Wasteland? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Pirates and Emperors is first, so interesting. Yep. So I host Pirates and Emperors. There we go, right? So here we go. By the way, uh, Dave, do not forget to sh send the others the stream link so they can uh, they can follow this game, because like I said, they have to go. People don't do not want the slow performance. Yeah, I'll let them know. So Yo, this is, thank you very much. Know. This is nice. Yeah. What do you say, Void? Okay, so he leaves. Okay, so it's Pirates and Emperors first game, Avocado second, and Ico Wasteland is the random game if if it is not only a a, a, a two zero victory. Okay, this is how it goes, guys. You first of all, I think it's like this: you ban them, like both each player ban a map, then they both each pick yes. a map, and then the bot randoms one third map out of the pool that is still like left over, and this is how the constellation went: Pirates, then Avocado, and then Ico Wasteland. So yeah, Did anyway. You pick the options? Uh, options correct. are also fine. This explored map, Fog of War, crates are off, build of Unless yeah, Konya, yeah, shot there. Yeah. Seems fine. Light support seems fine. Seems fine, yes. They're re okay, they're ready so to play. Okay, so, uh, I guess, oh, what's it for? Okay, so then, yeah, GDF is also in here if he wants to hear what we're saying right now, but the stream is on a three second delay, and three, two, one, go. The first TDGL game actually starts now. So, so how we do this, Borgmo? So, uh, yeah, so we focus on each player, right? So I say in the top north on Pirates and Emperors, we have Void spawning as GDI. Uh, southwest, we have Dragunov spawning as Not. Ooh. Oh, Not. Did he random? Do you know? Yeah, that? he was random. He was random. random. Oh, he actually embraces the Not. Interesting with that. Okay, nice decision. So, yeah, anyway. Um, what do you expect? Do you know Dragonov? Do you know Void? Who do you expect to win, maybe? Or who I is your best I don't song? really remember them, so I, I, I'm in for a surprise, basically. Okay, okay. Because so I just can't remember them how we're playing. Okay, okay. I do not take the, any bets. So, anyway, Void already going pretty aggressive with Humvee there. Humvee is damaged. 
I think he's even damaged to a degree where it would lose against the not buggy in a one one. So Void is only doing the direct I equation and running away. He's still, but at least he now knows which uh, faction the enemy is. Yeah, yeah, and also he knows that his opponent didn't uh, move his MCV at the beginning for an all-in or something. This is always important yep. because he yep, could get yep. catched off. The MCV, like, guys, moves over here, starts over here, you build two barracks, and then you all-in your opponent. If you do not scout for that, you're basically instead dead. I mean, also we're playing not on playtest, we're playing on normal, which means selling of buildings does actually, like, give you money, you know? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like a none of them is going for barracks first, so no, uh, we always won't be captured yet. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is a good strategy because both still keep the light vehicle and the chance that your engineer is getting sniped is way too high. So you do not go well, for the barracks. extremely high, yeah. And yeah, you have yeah. enough Tiberium at your base that you don't really need the slow solids. Mm, but the... The, the GDI player has actually an advantage. He has the APC, so he could carry the engineer in an APC and be fine with it. Yes. But if he actually wanted to go for it. So, yeah. So, every any time, like, uh, Dave does the stream. Uh, Dave has muted himself. Damn it. Okay, so I can't ask. Bogmo, do, uh, and your internet connection is too low, right? Okay, so I just have to hope that everything works. I mean, it looks fine right now. Yeah. Fine, right yeah. now, it's fine, but I, at, at random times, I lose connection, so I could disconnect. Okay, I hope you don't. No, no, you, sh you shouldn't. Uh, no. You should be fine. Okay, so you, we see two radar Boyd buggies. went from... for early harvester, while uh, Dragnov goes for buggies, yes. Okay, buggy, buggy. Buggy, buggy, buggy. Okay, yeah, actually he does. Interesting. And now harvesters as well from Dragunov. But Dragunov is behind an eco already. Because Voidwalker yeah, had his quicker. First. Also, good trade about GDI is their war fact their, their units get produced immediately out of the war factory while Nord still waits for the harvester to get in flight in uh, like it getting delivered. Yeah. While uh, airfield cannot be blocked, while war factories can be blocked. But Void's eco is already exploding. He's having four harvesters already and spread off. Even though he has kind of the crappier position, I would say, because this refinery doesn't open directly into the fields. While for the bottom player, it does. Void is expanding. Voice is already going for an expansion. This is interesting, actually. He goes for the very greedy build. Okay. I also find interesting that he has a very clapped up uh, building uh, placement. Yeah, very old placement, yes. Yeah, so against Nord, a nuke yeah. could basically destroy everything. Yeah, if it comes to a new battle, I, I actually yeah. doubt it. But this is gonna be interesting. This is good against Nord because there you can cover your bases better and do not get sniped off by bikes or anything. Hello, future people. Yeah, already I, people th th I think it's very good against GDI because G kill lots of buildings at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super win. Oh, there we go already. One buggy is lost, yeah, and the APC Christmas. begins already. The APC, ah, the GDI trait. <laughs> yeah, I think Dragonov is way too defensive right now, as not because he yeah. doesn't know what the enemy is doing. Oh, the enemy has already an expansion. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, yeah, I have to say GDI it. is ahead in early game in comparison to not. First of all, the light support of GDI is stronger because the Humvee is easily wins a one-on-one -on -one against the buggy. And then if you win the fight on the light vehicles, you basically own the map since you have map control. Well, and second of all, the APC is dominating as hell at the moment. Dom APCs are very strong. Yeah, yeah. But if Indeed. you go already but light tanks... Yeah. Him. yeah. If he had uh, placed the scout strategically correctly, he would have scouted the exp expansion and maybe could have done against it something. Yeah, now it's already a bit late and also Void is going for some nice APC dropping, I feel like. Look at how much infantry yeah. he has. What I don't like about Void is he's not spreading his infantry, so he doesn't know if the Nord player comes from afar somewhere. So he only knows that Nord is already taking him, he's already in his base. He should spread his infantry a bit more and see where it's yeah. coming from. But I feel like he already got everything Think covered. Oh, four full APCs. If not, would have gone for an early attack, he would have already done so, so mm. he doesn't have really to fear, I think. Mm. Well, this is interesting. Both players going in for an attack. Yeah. By the way, it's really good that the Nord player went for light tanks. That means he has a chance, actually, against APC spam. Usually, a tier 1 Nord has no chance against APC spam, because APCs are oh, dominating at the moment. Because the yeah, heavy armor, high HP, would... fast. Oh, look at this, by the way. Like, already the APCs oh. could smack down this light tank very easily, but Indeed. with Rocket Soldiers in addition, it's just uh, playing field. Even does the attack bike does die. Oh, no, actually, it didn't die. Ah, oh, now it does. 
<laughs> uh, seriously, as a not player, I would spread out every infantry at my base because, uh, with her play because of the drops. Oh, look There's at the main base, look at the main base, oh, the Doom God. drop. Oh, he's, oh, he's actually going for the Konyard already. Holy shit. Oh, is he's this Konyard going to go down? Oh no, Dragon Dust, don't down. stay, going no! Down. Pack in your MCV! It's wow. It's dead. No, he... If he would have packed, it would have uh, died even faster. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but then again, he could recapture with an, with an engineer. Packed. Look, he has an engineer. He could have recaptured the husk. Who knows if Void did, did it have the time Ooh, to kill the husk? Yes, yes. So that was a misplay by Dragunov there. Wow, he's now limited to one base, and Void already has the blue field. And his continuous spamming the APCs. Yeah, oh, that's my God. boy. <laughs> Look at this amount. Holy well, he shit. He still has the radar, so. Maybe something, but those flame picks won't help against those APCs. Because APCs do a lot of damage against heavy units for some Way reason. Way too much. Way too much. Like, look at this. Okay, Void he cannot evacuate not his infantry in there. Void should not, should not be careful not like, like throwing attacks. away his units there. Oh. I think he wants to drop some off in, inside the base to kill the power yes, plants. He wants to go shut down his power plants. But yeah, and he's low power really already. Like, oh, oh, this hurts. Oh god, what's going on? Oh god, he's gonna kill much. all of the power plants. And the APCs are blocking the tanks? You look look at this. Yeah, oh, oh yes. my god, and he killed everything. It's, it, it's, it's over, it's oh, over. Now it's really More over. Like, how, like, I mean, it's it's a, a bit unfair God calling the shots, you know, but how is Dragon of any ever gonna, like, come back from this? Even Void Preservance yes. and mm -hmm. rescues his APCs there. He can't outproduce Void anymore. No. His production is so low. Yeah. He has the income, but <laughs> Look not at the this. production anymore. <laughs> Holy shit. He built way too many flame tanks. Yeah. Could, uh, few of them. Yes, you could have maybe still had a chance. But flame tanks are bad against APCs. Mm, oh, now he's, he's even con like now continuing the, the medium tank spam. I mean, what Void now just needs to do is just kick back, defend everywhere, and then just wait until you have way more and then just slap him with his huge medium tank dick. That's all what he needs to do. I mean, look at those. He's even gonna kill this. But Void is doing a mistake. The flame tanks of Dragunov, look at the top left. They could actually yeah, do a lot yeah, of damage yeah. if he micros them correctly. Had Void noticed. If he does a lot of damage, Void would even, uh, even then still outproduce him. Yeah, and he, if he only kills the War Factory, he needs to clear the whole main base. And he doesn't even kill the War Factory, I believe. No, he doesn't. Oh, he only killed yeah. the power plant. Wow. Also, sometimes it, it, yeah. flame tanks, sometimes. Oh, I don't know. Why did he sell his radar? I don't know. GG. GG is called. This is the first GG. game won for Void Walker there. 1 0 for Void. Nice one. But here nice. we see APCs are broken as fuck. Yeah, but APCs are pretty strong, my friends. APCs just go with the flow, you know. APCs go off the floor. So the second map was Avocado, right? Yes. So we go for Avocado on Official 3. Official 3 you can join. EU Official 3. MCV only? No, we want light support. Normal, unrestricted, 5000, explode map, for Unless it doesn't matter, crates. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, Swalk's already settled. Okay, GG. Okay, makes perfect sense, Dragunov. Okay, I also need to look at the chat now. Also, in the meantime, my stream is, by the way, running in the background. This is also nice. Nice. But my internet connection can handle that easily. No problem. Oh, Andy, please leave. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, so what we could say about the... No, I'm not going to do this. Bum. No mercy. <laughs> <laughs> no mercy. And ban him. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> no mercy. Okay. Oh, we're actually going into the second game. And he now picks even GDI. I think Dragonov knows where is it going. Oh, Bogomo, you're orange. What's up? Okay, so anyway. Yeah, I see you. Let's... If I start to lag, I think I have to go out. I hope you do not do so. And go. The second game of this TDGL game already happens. It is Voidworker it versus really Dragonov. The second game on Avocado. And yeah, White Walker spawned at the top left with purple GDI. And civilian, civilian. Uh, Dragon of Spawn is the yellow GDI to the t uh, bottom right. Oh, nice. Okay. So. And we already saw the civilian massacre. 
Yeah, with the civilian. For seventy dollars, it's really worth it to kill it. Yeah, do not forget, guys. Borgomo hates his civilians. He always goes. So Void already smart, it's looking for the MCV that moved already. Avocado is a map where you really easily can for go for an all-in if you want to. Oh, extremely. Extremely. And I think Void's going for an all-in. Maybe we're gonna see, but Void is actually queuing well, refinery. Let's see, let's let's see, see what he's, he's producing. Do. Let's see. He's producing a lot of mini gunners. He's producing gunners, refinery, so he just wants to do a massive pressure in the early game. Yeah. The same goes for Dragonov. So both doing the same right there, but Dragonov is producing rocket soldiers at the moment. I don't know if this is a mistake. Rocket soldiers take way too long to reach a target, and Do and Void could just defend with. Uh, yeah, Void actually could he defend with those only? Let's see who does Dragunov the first move. Could... Dragonov could uh, way faster kill the enemy's uh, structures, while the yeah, Void needs more times to in the trade off. And Void doesn't uh, attack. Oh, Dragunov the MCV is getting win. packed in. Okay, oh, Void sees that tempting. Oh god, he's going into the enemy line. Okay, okay. Yeah, and so let's see he's how the MCV the... plays out. Ah, he's focusing he's the MCV, of course. Focus the infantry. He's going to lose. He's going to kill the Humvee. He's going to kill the Humvee, must... so he has an advantage. This is nice. Yeah. Look at this. And by the meantime, Void is killing the power plant, but Void doesn't miss, mi miss micro. He needs to kill the minigunners there. Look yeah. at this. The, the, the MCV tank for him. Power plant is down, but. Void can produce a uh, structure in the meantime, while uh, Dragunov can. Dragunov should I think maybe Void is now... use this harvester. Oh. Oh, and Void, uh, Dragunov should go for the enemy harvester now, or at least the barracks. Okay. Not like... for him. MCV is way too tanky. Yeah, what is, oh, Void, what is Void producing right now? I would really like to see producing a second barracks. Void is producing a guard tower, actually. That is interesting. Also, Void exactly. should use his that's harvester to crush the uh, to crush the rocket soldiers. I feel like and I feel like he, focused, so he, he uh, built a guard tower. The, He's gonna uh, kill all the rocket soldiers. No, no. If he kills this, uh, this army, it's over for it's over uh, for him. Dragon now. Uh, now Void just needs to pack in his MCV and run away. Yeah, and just maybe build a second engine here. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is not and looking good for Dragonov there. It could be over now. No, don't, don't, call it, don't call it the cookie. Maybe Dragon Dragonov has Dragon no multitasking, man. He got slapped in the uh, back. Dragonov isn't, yeah, Dragonov isn't even collecting anymore. Yeah. He forgot his uh, harvester. Oh yeah, actually he is not. He has, he has no... Oh, he has still 400 in the bank, but not enough. This is not That's looking good for Dragonov. What's Void doing? Is Void maybe running away from a potential guard tower? Void is going no. in with his MCV. Yeah, I, I think, think he wants to base push or something. Yeah, yeah, I think he's going to base push, man. I mean, it's one guard tower in front of the barracks and this game is done. Oh. Uh, uh, what is what is what is Dragonov producing? I think he's also producing a guard tower. No, he's producing a turret. Huh? What? Why is Dragonov producing a turret? turret? I think that was a misclick. That must be a misclick. Why would you produce that even? This is, this is weird. Okay, now the rocket soldiers of Void are coming in, uh, and this one rocket soldier at the top left is just trying so hard, killing oh the power gosh. plant is like, ah, I can't reach it. Oh god. Poor dragon over there. Oh, dragon there yeah, this uh, is the Void's one. Uh oh. I yeah, okay, the gun turret has been placed, but this gun turret is gonna die so quickly to the rocket soldiers. Oh my god. If yeah, this dragon is. Would have, would have microed better in his engagement, I think he would have won. GG, Dragon of course the GG, 2-0 for Void, one, Void won the first TDGL BO3 there, nice one, good job. First that was nice, four. that was a quick one, terminated. that was, that was, was quick. It was a small map. Yeah, okay, that, but this is how Avocado is about, yeah, aggressive gameplay, but this was, yeah, quick fuck. So Void f won his first round, basically. Yeah, Void just won his thing, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I didn't. Exp I mean, I knew it would be kind of an, you know, like dynamic series, but that was quick, <laughs> even for my taste. Yeah, the MCV is what stronger than that one. <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if they had I went guess. for an all instead of a. Push early. Yo, GG Void, nice one. Really good job, man. Void. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. So yeah, there we go. Void already leading with the 2-0 victory. That means you need to upload your replays, right? And something else I yeah. forgot. Nice one. I yeah. have to read the rules actually. <laughs> <laughs> 
So yeah. Anyway, that is that was that was not bad. Void, seriously, like good job. This is a nice interview. So how do you feel like being the first guy finishing his first BO3 TDGL match? Feels good <laughs> to have to zero advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Already ahead of us, Borgamo. Can you believe that? Uh, I can't wait. My t my match against Lurker is happening tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna stream that or not. I feel like I'm not. I will. Lurker I will just play it out. Player. Lurker? Lurker? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's Lurker is the weak player. He's he's a beginner. I feel like so. This should be easy for me. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, Void. Any last words before I shut down best. the stream so I can eliminate the delay because I wanna like to stream with normal delay now. Any last words, Void? Nah, not really. <laughs> okay, Borgo, what can you say to this best of three series that went off so quickly? It was nice. The first one was nice, but <laughs> yeah. the Dragon of didn't have really a chance against all those APCs. The yeah. second was actually a close one. Yeah, the, the second one was pretty close. Have yeah. Only have might a little bit better, and he would have won. Yeah, but a bit more multitasking also, he doing more in the, in the back, like in his main base, he lost a lot there. He shouldn't have lost his power plant. He shouldn't have. Yeah, yeah, he shouldn't have. It was avocado. It's all random anyways. Yeah, <laughs> it's all <laughs> random, all or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching this best of three, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the stream for the delay so we can, can continue with the normal stream. So stay tuned.